Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal eyeing transfer for Brazilian striker Yuri Alberto as summer rebuild gathers pace and then we're going to look at Arsenal submitting fresh bid for Emiliano Buendia after Norwich reject first offer. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal eyeing transfer for Brazilian striker Yuri Alberto as summer rebuild gathers pace. So the reports are stating that the 20-year-old forward has impressed for Internacional in recent years, but the Gunners could face competition for his signature. Also not interested in signing Brazilian striker Yuri Alberto in the summer transfer window, according to reports. The Gunners are set to undergo a squad overhaul in the off-season and have reportedly identified Alberto as one of their targets. Manager Mick Clarteta and technical director Edu are leading a major effort this summer with also expected to be busy when the transfer window opens for 12 weeks on Wednesday. The North London club reportedly wants to bring in as many as 5 new players in a bid to improve upon a dissipating 8th place finish in the Premier League. With no European football to attract top names, the Gunners might need to be a little bit more inventive in the transfer market. Alberto would fit that description. With the 20-year-old striker perhaps going under the radar playing for Internacional in his native Brazil. The Brazil under-23 international has scored 17 goals and registered 2 assists in 49 matches for the club. Based in Porto Alegre and Brazilian outlet Globo Esporte reports that also have renewed their interest in a transfer. The Gunners reportedly tried to sign him in from Santos in 2017 when he was just 17 years old but failed in their efforts. Alberto still has 4 years left to run on his contract with Internacional. He won around £11 million which is €13 million Euros, for the striker. Importantly, given the new Brexit rules, Alberto reportedly holds a European passport meaning he would not have to earn a work permit. Also not the European side that are only interested. However, with Barcelona also aware of Alberto and reportedly considering an approach to Internacional. Barcelona have already completed the signing of Sergio Aguero on a free transfer from Manchester City but want another forward to add to Ronald Koeman's side. Martin Braithwaite is not considered up to the standard required and Barca have also been linked with the move for Valerial's Gerard Moreno this summer. Also are on the lookout for strikers with plenty of uncertainty surrounding their current crop of players. Alexandre Lacazette and Eddie Nketiah are both about to enter the final year of their contracts with the Gunners and have been linked with moves away from the Emirates. Interestingly, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has also been discussed for a potential departure with Chelsea in the market for a striker. According to the Telegraph, the 31-year-old striker could be a contender for the Blues if they don't land Borussia Dortmund's Erling Haaland into Milan's Romelu Lukaku or Tottenham's Harry Kane. So it looks like also eyeing a transfer for Brazilian striker Yuri Alberto and we have to wait and see how this transfer pans out. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that also submits fresh bid for Emiliano Buendia after Norwich reject first offer. So the reports are stating that also reportedly upped their bid for Norwich star Emiliano Buendia as they look to be Aston Villa to the attacking midfielder. The Gunners saw a £30 million bid knocked back by Norwich who are holding out for £40 million. With both Villa and Arsenal pushing hard for a signature, the Canaries, who have just been promoted to the Premier League, feel they are in a strong position to command a hefty fee. Also aren't yet ready to meet their demands but have tested their resolve with a £35 million offer according to Sky Sports. Emiliano Buenzia was hugely influential in Norwich's championship title run. He was named the division's best player having scored 14 goals and provided 16 assists. Norwich are willing to sell him this summer but their position have been strengthened after they secured promotion. As well as interest from Premier League outfits Arsenal and Villa, Spanish sides Atletico Madrid and Valencia are also thought to be keen on a move. Aston Villa also saw a £30 million bid rejected by Norwich and would have to break their transfer record to side the Argentine. 
They bought a player for £30 million for the first time last summer, picking up Ollie Watkins from Brentford. Watkins went on to make 19 direct goal contributions in his first full season in the Premier League. However, Arsenal have spent more than £40 million on four occasions in moves for Nicola Pepe, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Thomas Barsi and Alexandre Lacazette. So it looks like Arsenal has to submit a fresh bid for Emiliano Buendia after Norwich reject first offer. So in the past few days, it was reported that Arsenal made a £30 million bid for Emiliano Buendia, which was seen rejected by Norwich and at the same time Aston Villa also put a £30 million bid for Emiliano Buendia as well. And those two bids were rejected by Norwich, but now it looks like Arsenal have now upped their bid to £35 million for Emiliano Buendia. And in terms of Norwich and in terms of their director in the form of Stuart Webber, he is someone that stated that when they're going to sell a player to this summer transfer window, it's going to have a free in front of the number. And it could be a fee of £35 million that Norwich might be looking for for Emiliano Buendia and a fee that he could be sold at. But it looks like Norwich are keen on selling him for £40 million. So we have to wait and see what Stuart Webber thinks as he doesn't mind a three in front of their transfer record but in terms of also they already spent 40 million pound plus on many players like Bamian, Lacazette, Nicola Pepe just to name a few so when it comes to Arsenal they should be able to have the expenses to buy Emiliano Buendia. Mikel Arteta said that the owners will back him before when there were talks and moments where Daniel Ek looked like he was going to take over at Arsenal so we have to wait and see if this Emiliano Buendia who looks at the top transfer target for that number 10 role given Martin Odegaard's situation at Real Madrid with Carlo Ancelotti and given the fact that he's probably going to be given the chance to impress Carlo Ancelotti and be very pivotal in the Real Madrid squad next season so we have to wait and see how this Emiliano Buendia transfer pans out and if Arsenal will get their man but other than that guys remain blessed stay tuned for the next video and peace